The O'Reilly Factor, the number one cable news show for 14 years running. Thanks, Dan. With us, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and he is a legal segment tonight. Three very controversial topics, beginning with a federal judge in Chicago overturning the Windy City's ban on the sale and transfer of firearms. U.S. District Judge Edmund Chang, an Obama appointee, says that Chicago's ban on guns is unconstitutional. Here now with analysis, Kimberly Guilfoyle and Lise Wheel. All right, Wheel. We know what he said. Right. Why did he say it? The Second Amendment, very simple. The right to keep and bear arms must also include the right to transfer arms, the right to buy arms, acquire. the right to acquire mm -hmm. them, the right to sell right, them. It's that simple. It's very so simple. So the judge the says too broad. that no city or state or municipality can infringe right. on the right to possess firearms. And if you want to possess, you got to buy. you got to buy them. Like, right. Like so that. it's ca it's counterintuitive. How can counter you possess if you cannot acquire? So right. I like the judge's reasoning. And also, he said it was overbroad, and he said the city did not demonstrate a direct correlation link to say that this would pose a direct threat to public safety. Yeah, so I, I don't buy that part Second of the Amendment. argument. I think that but Chicago is a violent opinion. city, and that there are a lot of uh, thugs who have illegal guns in there. By illegal guns, I mean shave serial numbers. Right. They don't go th through the registration but it's process. Overbroad. That's what we're talking so about. So I disagree with illegal guns. Here. I understand it. I disagree with Chang's saying it does. You, you haven't demonstrate an effect. There is an effect. Dead people. However, he's right. The founding fathers wanted to give That's Americans right. Right. the constitutional right to defend but, themselves. And speaking of founding fathers, the federal law doesn't ban this. So, th so I expect that right. this will be upheld all across the state. It will. Uh, and the Chicago is... people will be able to buy yes. and mm -hmm. possess legally. Yes. Yes. And right. He's just saying they haven't sufficiently demonstrated okay. a nexus, a causal link. Perhaps if the city appeals, they'll provide more documentation maybe, to justify it on the Maybe, maybe but I, I still think that the trump card is you can't yeah. stop people from defending themselves. It cannot themselves. be an absolute ban. Right. You're, you're right All right. Utah. That. Utah um, yeah. Supreme Court mm -hmm. has told the state of Utah yeah. to stop marrying gay people. Right. Based on what? Well, well this is interesting. So they put a hold on gay marriages in Utah. This is now being sent back. Sotomayor could have decided this herself. It is being sent back to the Tenth Circuit for the whole Tenth Circuit to hear this case. This is, that's the U.S. Appeals Court. Right. Correct. And okay. then you see Justice uh, Sonia Sotomayor. She who, sends she, it back. But, but let's again, let's get to the why yeah. of this. Already about 900 couples, gay couples, have been married. Right. 950 right. couples. Okay. 950 okay. performed but in no the 17 days. But no more can be. Exactly. And because of this ruling. Right. And the ruling is based on what? Well, they're saying that this is uh, basically it's an equal protection issue, but it's also an issue of the vote rights and it's very similar if you look but, at what happened in California but California the they over the, the judges overturned the will of the people there right but the point is it's very similar correlation but wait between wait wait the wait, two. wait this is what I don't understand mm -hmm. if Utah can't right. overturn the will of the people but California can but, yes. what, what here's, is that we were asking for reasoning the, they specifically did not give a reasoning as to why to do that uh, they the put Supreme that on court hold stayed legally. the, the, the ban mm -hmm. why did they stay the ban because they said it could possibly be unconstitutional to have this ban. We don't know. We're not deciding whether it is or not the Supreme Court, but when you tell circuit, you need this to decide This is so that. confusing and so inconsistent I that agree. I think the court's going to have to rule, and it should yeah. be state by state as far as votes are Here's, concerned. They may rule a little judges. bit on a technicality. And the will of the voters, depending on right. what they put so, forward. Uh, all right, so what you're both saying is this is going to be chaotic going into the future. It is. It's never going to be resolved. It's people who don't know whether they're married or not in Utah. All right. 27-year-old uh, Jake Strickland, again, right. he's a Utah father, all right, he has a child with mm -hmm. a woman, not mm -hmm. married, yeah. they break up, the woman wheel mm -hmm. gives Jack. the baby, there she is, right. all right, up for adoption without Strickland's approval, Strickland wanted to raise the child, now Strickland's suing the mother and a whole right. bunch of other people for a hundred and thirty million, million, million dollars. dollars. This is little Jack, and this is this is the father here, Baby Jake. Jack, and there's uh, a dad. And, and, but he, he's suing for under racketeering theory, which is a federal crime, saying or a federal cause, saying, "Hey, you you colluded, you mom and the adoption agency, the uh, non biological father, the one because she was they married excluded to, him because from they excluded the process." Him. And and she, they he says, "Look, you brought me in, mother. You said, don't worry about it. It's all going to be okay. Right. Don't you don't." Does he fire? have a shot? No. Here's the he problem. Has no Shot. Because mm. in Utah, the law is so strict on what a, a biological you have to but register not with the a, a He didn't follow the rules, the, the red tape rules. rules. Right. Now, this is probably a guy who doesn't he, know about the rules. Well, he did, but it was too expensive. Okay, he would so have to fire, expensive. hire a lawyer. It would have cost him $4,000. But also, here's the deal. Ahead. You have to understand something. There was duplicity on the part of the, the yes. mother. She was with him and with the family oh, like, just days before the baby but was born. But we 
Steele Lord says he has no contested. shot in federal court. Do you believe? I, I would like to mm. say that I think he does have a shot. It's going to be tough because Utah has the strictest rules, and I think it is. And onerous. he didn't follow the onerous rules follow down the rules. in the. Guess what? He didn't. He wasn't even on notice that he should have done that because right. she but didn't. But here's tell what you should happen if you're listening to me, you pinheads in uh, not in Utah, but anybody <laughs> involved in this case. If the father wants to raise the yes. child. And the mother doesn't. The father should be able to raise and he hasn't even the seen child. This but she child never even That's disclosed it. that she was That's giving right. the child up Mother's for adoption. She was not no honest about it. All right, ladies, thank you, and we'll follow that last case for you in a moment. A two-year-old in Colorado eats a marijuana lace cookie. We told you this stuff was going to happen. We'll be right back with that report.